वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल कृषि पैथोलॉजी आप सभी का मेरे YouTube चैनल कृषि पैथोलॉजी में स्वागत है मैं सनी कुमार पटेल रिसर्च स्कॉलर और ये हमारा पांचवा वीडियो है जिसमें हम प्लांट पैथोलॉजी के कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे डिटेल एनालिसिस के साथ उसके बाद ये कंटिन्यू चलता रहेगा और ये वीडियो आप लास्ट तक देखें और अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो इस वीडियो को अधिक से अधिक लोगों को शेयर करें और मेरे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें बेल आइकन को प्रेस करें और अब आइए हम चलते हैं पहले क्वेश्चन से जो कि हम स्टार्ट करते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द जीनस फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द जीनस जेस्ट्रम द जेस्ट्रम बिलोंग्स टू द फैमिली ऑफ विच फैमिली इट बिलोंग्स टू द फैमिली ऑफ द जेस्टेरेसी फैमिली सो द फैमिली जेस्टेरेसी कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑर्डर जेस्टेरियल्स इट कम्स अंडर द ऑर्डर ऑफ जेस्टेरियल्स and uh, it consists of more than 50 species of gestrum but the major important uh, species of the gestrum is gestrum triplex the gestrum triplex is also known as earth star because uh, the expanded basidium structure looks like a star so we can say that it is looks like earth star it is also known as earth star now we'll come to the question number 2 blister blight blister blight of t is caused by exobasidium vexans so blister blight of t is a very destructive disease caused by this pathogen exobasidium vaccans and exobasidium vaccans it is an obligate parasite so and uh, this uh, exobasidium genera parasitizes the plant family of uh, eriaci family the exobasidium vaccani forms galls on the leaves of uh, vaccinium species so this is a very destructive disease and uh, it is mostly found and frequently in india sri lanka and indonesia now we'll come to the question number 3 volvarella volvesi which type of its mushroom is this it is a paddy straw mushroom because the compost which is utilized for the this mushroom cultivation is paddy straw so the volvarella volvesi and volvarella diplesia these are two types of the mushroom Uh, which uh, belongs to this pedistra and uh, this belongs to the family of the plutiaceae and it produces pink types of spore now we'll come to the question number 4 the diploid life cycles occurs in the oomycota this oomycota is known as oomycota because of oogamous reproduction uh, oogamous type of sexual reproduction and uh, it consists of the diploid somatic phase just like as in the present in plants so it is belongs to the oomycota now we'll come to the question number 5 the rhizomycelium represents which part of the thallus the rhizomycelium represents the vegetative part of the thallus what do you mean by thallus the complete body of a fungi can be represented as a thallus now we'll come to the question number 6 the what disease of potato it is caused by a syncytrium and biotecum pathogen belonging to the cytidomycota and it is an important Uh, disease which has leads to the endemic uh, endemic to the darjeeling district for the uh, utilization of the potato so uh, it is a endemic quarantine disease what is the potato and uh, now we'll come to question number 7 auricularia auricularia is also known as it's known as wood ear or black wood ear like it is known as like this because it is structured like ear just like a ear structures it is known as black ear auricularia uh, have various types of species auricularia auricularia judis also but known as jeeves ears and one of the auricularia species auricularia polytrichia is an edible and which is highly prized in the china Now we'll come to question number eight. The Protomyces forms galls on the plant belonging to the family of the Protomyceti. This Protomyces macrosporus forms uh, causes the stem gall of coriander. It is very important disease of the coriander, and the chlamydospores are the resting uh, hard sclerosal body uh, of entering stage of this disease. And uh, now we'll come to the question number nine. the black dusty masses of the teliospores are observed in the loose smut of the fungi the loose smut of fungi are internally seed borne diseases and the dusty mass of teliospores are mostly observed in this loose smut fungi the smut fungi are obligate parasites what do we mean by obligate parasites obligate parasites means uh, 
uh, they derive their nutrition from their uh, uh, live host tissues so they are known as obligate parasite it means they need a host to remain uh, alive on their survivability now we'll come to the next question number 11 astrolygo avenia astrolygo avenia causes loose smut of uh, oats it is a very important disease of the oats astrolygo are the obligate for the parasite belonging to the basidio mycotina the astrolygo sifolia causes loose smut of the onion and the cellulose degrading fungus is chetomium globosum uh, it degrades the cellulose present on the uh, plants or in the woods and trees and uh, this is known as a degrading fungus the most question number 14 is the most advanced modern fungal phylum is basidium mycota it is basidium mycota its formation basidium is formation in this kingdom and uh, the chestnut blight the chestnut blight um, disease caused in the USA is caused with the cryptonacteria parasitica and uh, or it can be also termed as endotheca parasitica endonacteria parasitica it is a serious disease uh, of the chestnut blight tree chestnut tree and caused huge losses in that USA now we will come to the question number 16 are malaria causing disease in the forest are butt rots and rots Ergotism. Question number 17. Ergotism, it is a condition of the mycotoxins uh, and uh, observed in the ergot disease of Bajra. And in this condition, honeydews are formed, uh, which forms falls in the ground. And again, so, uh, it is a very uh, serious disease of the Bajra. And uh, ergotism can be uh, leads the mycotoxins in the humans as well as animals. Now we'll come to the question number 18. The secondary mycelium, the basidium mycelium are also known as, it is known as dikaryotic conditions. In dikaryotic means uh, yin and yin condition in which the two nucleus remains uh, without fusion, is known as dikaryotic conditions. In basidium mycota, three types of mycelia are involved in the life cycle of the basidium mycota. First is primary mycelia, secondary, my, second is secondary mycelia and third is tertiary mycelia. The secondary mycelium is known as dikaryotic and tertiary mycelium is represented as a basidium. Question number 19 is tertiary mycelium is referred as a basidium. Uh, this basidium includes the which participates in the formation of basidioma. Now we will come to the question number 20. The anamorph of the hypocrea reefer. The anamorph of hypocrea reefer is a trichoderma virility. Trichoderma virility is an established bio biocontrol agent for management of various plant parasitic uh, diseases. Now we will come to the question number 21. The, the name perfect stage of the bipolaris is the cochilibulus. Now we will come to the question number 22. The bulbulous base appendages are found in the powdery mildew genera is phylicetinia. Phylicetinia is one of the powdery mildew genera in which the appendages are bulbulous base. Now we will come to the question number 23. The entomophthora is found in the phylum of the zygomycota. The entomophthora musi found observed in the housefly, uh, parasitizing the housefly, it is very important uh, fungi present in the zygomycota kingdom. Now we'll come to question number 24. The father of modern myxomycetes. The father of modern myxomycetes is Constantine J. Alexipolis. C. J. Alexipolis is a very important worker of the modern myxomycetes. Now we'll come to the question number 25. The Allomyces genus was discovered by the A.J. Butler, Edward John Butler. Now we'll come to the question number 26. Conidia of the wise trust of the crucifers are in the succession of the uh, basic petal. There are two types of succession of the arrangement of this conidia, this basic petal and acropetal. In the white trust of crucifer, it is a basic petal in chain. Now we'll come to the question number 27. The red bread mold is also known as Neurosphora crassa. Now we'll come to the question number 28. The question number 28 is Amanita muscaria is also known as a fly agaric. It means fly agaric means fly fungus, fly mushroom. Now we'll come to the question number 29. The closed ascocarp is also known as a clistothecium. Ascocarp is a fruiting body of the ascomycotina kingdom. And uh, the clistothecium is the closed ascocarp. 
and uh, it is one of the important uh, uh, structure of the powder mildew genera and uh, on which several and a single as I have present with appendages. The question number 30 is botanical name of the milky mushroom is Calocybe indica. Now we'll come to the question number 31. The botanical name of the seed tech mushroom is Lentinola idodis. It is usually found in Japan and China and it is very costly mushroom and they are grown on the sawdust, sawdust, wooden dust. And now we will come to question number 32. The perfect stage of the pyricloria is Magna Porthe Grisi. Last disease of rice, causal or meaning of last disease of rice. It is very important disease of the rice. Coiled hook appendages are found in the powdery milk gene rice of Ancenula. Ancenula nectator is the causal origin of the powdery mildew of the grape wine. And question number 35. The lineage of mycology is known as EM freeze. EM freeze means Linus magnus freeze is known as a lineage of mycology or system of mycological. Alterations of question number 36. Alteration of generations are found in the Allomyces. Allomyces is discovered by J. Butler. And uh, question number 37 is uh, Conidia of Aspergillus developed in the uh, answer is conidigenous cell that is phyllites. And uh, red bread mold referred to the genus is known as uh, Neurospora crassa. And question number 39 is Pleurotus belongs to the family of the Pleurotaceae. And question number 40 is the botanical name of the button mushroom is Agaricus bisporus. So these are the 40 questions which are being discussed in this video and next uh, 60 questions will be uh, discussed in the next video of the part 6 of this uh, series plant pathology. So if you like this video share to this uh, various students who are preparing for the various types of exams so like uh, competitive examinations for the PhD and masters in the plant pathology also as well as in the various competitive examinations of the agriculture sectors which are very important questions which have been asked in the various competitive examinations. So, uh, I will be humbly to uh, all the listeners who are uh, watching this video. So thank you very much. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon and never miss any updates. Thank you. Have a nice day.